Since the National Aeronautics and Space Administration's inception in 1958, astronauts have landed on the moon, parked a robot-controlled rover on Mars, and discovered countless exoplanets orbiting stars outside of this solar system. It doesn't end there. Scientists can even explore vast and visible spaces in galaxies far, far away, comprised of dark energy, dark matter, and dark radiation. And these videos are a testament to the epic awesomeness of space exploration unlike anything we've ever seen before. Here are 15 incredible things caught by NASA. Star Wars Crew Member So you travel with a good luck charm. NASA added an unusual extra passenger to the Crew-1 mission recently traveling to the International Space Station, a plush Baby Yoda from The Mandalorian. But it wasn't for luck, moral support, or to help the astronauts sleep easier. They did so for a very good reason. The doll is what's known as the Zero Gravity Indicator, typically a soft, small object that's allowed to float free in the spacecraft cabin to provide a simple but effective confirmation of when it passes into the phase of a space flight where Earth's gravity no longer holds significant sway. Baby Yoda won hearts with its debut on Disney's original show The Mandalorian and continues to be a fan favorite. It earned its nickname because it's a juvenile version of Yoda from the Star Wars saga. In the new series, Baby Yoda regularly gets in trouble for messing around with its spacecraft controls. This stuffed toy can't do any damage, thank goodness. Crew-1 was on its way to the ISS to staff it for the next half a year on NASA's first operational commercial crew mission, courtesy of partner SpaceX. And this stuffed toy is along for the ride of its life. Fasten your seatbelts, because it's time for today's sweet topic. A planetary rover is a surface exploration device designed to move across the solid surface or a planet or other planetary mass usually fully autonomous robots. Rovers are tasked to collect information about the terrain and to take crust samples such as dust, soil, rocks, and even liquids. They're essential tools in space exploration, but never were they expected to capture this. Thoughts? Maybe our eyes deceive us, but the creature in this image is about as alien looking as it gets. Of all things discovered by NASA, could this be the most incredible? We can't even compare it to any animals here on Earth because an alien creature like this just doesn't exist. But with muscles like this, you know it's fast. With those broad shoulders and thick neck, you know it's super strong. And the claws, the fangs, plus a face only a mother could love, NASA, you've got some explaining to do. Maybe you can help us explain it in the comments below. Just use the hashtag sweet topic when you do. 3D Printed Mars A developer of advanced construction technologies has designed a 3D printed habitat known as Mars Dune Alpha at NASA's Johnson Space Center. Future space exploration habitats have the potential to be 3D printed with additive construction technology to eliminate the need to launch large quantities of building materials on multiple flights. So this model is a 1,700 square foot structure and it simulates a realistic Mars habitat to support long duration, exploration class space missions. Four private crew quarters would be located on one end of the habitat. Dedicated workstations, medical stations, and food growing stations are located on the opposite end with shared living spaces found in between. Plus, a mix of fixed and movable furniture will allow crew members to recognize the habitat according to their daily needs, as will the customizable lighting, temperature, and sound control. Helping regulate the daily routine, circadian rhythm, and overall well-being of the crew. NASA will use research from the Mars Dune Alpha to support crew health and performance for future missions to Mars when astronauts would live and work on the Red Planet for long periods of time. Splash Landing SpaceX has returned four astronauts from the International Space Station recently, making the first U.S. crew splash down in darkness since the Apollo 8 in 1968. The Dragon capsule parachuted into the Gulf of Mexico off the coast of Panama City, Florida, ending the second astronaut flight for Elon Musk's company. The astronauts flew back in the same capsule, named Resilience, in which they launched from NASA's Kennedy Space Center. It was an express trip home, lasting just six and a half hours. Their 167-day mission is the longest for astronauts launching from the U.S. The previous record of 84 days was set by NASA's final Skylab station crew in 1974. They should have returned to Earth sooner, 
but high offshore winds forced SpaceX to pass up a pair of daytime landing attempts. So they switched to a rare splashdown in darkness to take advantage of calm weather. The capsule fired a series of short bursts with its thrusters to gently ease away from the ISS. NASA livestream footage showed the capsule moving off into the dark as it began its journey back to Earth, its rear engines lighting up in small flashes, and cameras tracked the capsule as it re-entered the atmosphere. We can see all four main parachutes deploying just before splashdown. Welcome home, astronauts! <laughs> Northern Lights from Space the Northern Lights, or the Aurora Borealis, are beautiful dancing waves of light that have captivated people for millennia, and recently NASA brought ultra-high definition video to a new level with the kind of imagery only the world's leader in space exploration could provide. They used a time-lapse shot from the International Space Station to capture quite a light show. Named after Aurora, the Roman goddess of dawn, the lights are usually seen in high-latitude regions. The Aurora Borealis, also known as the Northern Lights, is seen in northern latitudes, while the Aurora Australis, known as the Southern Lights, can be seen in high southern latitude areas in Antarctica, Chile, Argentina, New Zealand, and Australia. NASA has released a video shot in space of both, and it's quite frankly phenomenal. But for all its beauty, this spectacular light show is a rather violent event. Energized particles from the sun slam into Earth's upper atmosphere at speeds of up to 45 million miles per hour, but our planet's magnetic field protects us from the onslaught. As Earth's magnetic field redirects the particles toward the poles, the dramatic process transforms into a cinematic atmospheric phenomenon that dazzles and fascinates scientists and sky watchers. <laughs> NASA's Pumpkin Engineers since 2011, engineers at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory in Pasadena, California, gather for the ultimate pumpkin carving contest. Two groups, Spacecraft Design Engineering and Payload and Small Spacecraft Mechanical Engineering, have held the Halloween contest to find out who can do it better. The only rules? They must use a pumpkin given to them that day, and they only have one hour to carve it. Preparation ahead of time is allowed, and wow, they were prepared. Most of us would come at a Halloween pumpkin simply with a sharp knife and a will to succeed, but these folks came equipped with NASA-level engineering skills. It's been a team bonding tradition for years and sees engineers taking an hour break from building tools that enable us to explore the universe for a good old-fashioned jack-o'-lantern carving competition. All in good fun. The prize is simple bragging rights. Previous years have seen pumpkins transformed into everything from lit-up UFOs to hovering Frankensteins, spinning carnival rides to working robotic arms. And the evidence is clear. From a guitar player to Charlie Brown on Mars, these pumpkin ideas were out of this world. The only limits were their imaginations. Space Pyramids Pyramids don't only exist in Egypt. In 2015, NASA's Dawn spacecraft moved into orbit around this dwarf planet called Cirrus, the largest body in the asteroid belt between Mars and Jupiter. As the spacecraft circled the dwarf planet at increasingly lower altitudes, the shape of this mysterious feature began to come into focus. It revealed stunning new close-up images of the three-mile-high mountain that appears to be pyramid-shaped. And naturally, the mission has done nothing but stoke imagination since the strange pyramid's discovery. It's 590 miles across and was discovered in 1801. It's the closest dwarf planet to the sun and is located in the asteroid belt, making it the only dwarf planet in the inner solar system, close enough to feel the warmth of the sun and allowing ice to melt and reform. As for the space pyramid, NASA did not suggest that the towering structure was of alien origin, home to a secret race of aliens. It's probably just a really tall mountain in a solar system filled with all sorts of amazing natural phenomena. They did reveal, however, that the pyramid is in fact a dome with smooth, steep walls, one of which appears to glow. But that didn't stop many conspiracy theorists from suggesting that, yes, this pyramid was extraterrestrial in origin. <laughs> Spooky solar flares. The sun is composed of plasma, a gas in which the negative electrons move freely around the positive ions, forming a powerful mix of charged particles. The sun, being a very hot star, behaves like a giant nuclear reactor. So, explosive events on the sun can be a little terrifying. 
and NASA has recorded footage of many of these such events. Some come just with a solar flare reaching out into the atmosphere, some with an additional ejection of solar material called a coronal mass ejection, or CME, and some come with complex moving structures that loop up into the sun's atmosphere. The ejected material either escapes the sun's gravitational pull and ripples through the space or falls back toward the surface, and we can get quite a light show. But all of them can be a little spooky. We've all been told not to look directly into the blindingly bright ball of fire, but this video gives you a spectacular view of the sun's fiery surface bursting with flares five times bigger than the size of our planet. And if aimed the right way, these charged particles carried on the solar wind can slam into Earth's upper atmosphere, producing amazing auroras. If these solar flares are strong enough, they could affect our planet's electrical grids or even harm satellites in orbit. Farming in Space Experiments have been completed on the International Space Station growing veggies for human consumption in space, and recently they harvested its first ever space radishes. The way the plant chamber works requires little maintenance from the crew. It uses LED lights, a porous clay material, and a controlled release of fertilizer to deliver water, nutrients, and oxygen to the plant's roots. And like planned, the astronauts plucked 20 radish plants from a plant habitat, wrapping them in foil and placing them in cold storage until it was time for their return trip home. Radishes are a different kind of crop compared to leafy greens that astronauts previously grew on the space station, or dwarf wheat, which was the first crop grown here. But growing a range of crops helps them determine which plants thrive in microgravity and offer the best variety and nutritional balance for astronauts on long duration missions. The hope is that these experiments will help NASA on its aspirations to have sustainable exploration of the moon by the end of the decade and then further reaches of space from there. The small crop was grown for experimental purposes, so sadly don't expect space salads to be served to the general public anytime soon. But hey, we're headed in the right direction. <laughs> ISS Legs Have you ever tried to walk after one of your legs falls asleep? Try walking on Earth after almost 200 days in space. This NASA astronaut shows us what it was like for him to get his legs working properly after doing just that. According to NASA, Expedition 56 had circled the globe 3,152 times, covering 83.3 million miles in 197 days in orbit. After spending extended periods of time in space, simple tasks like walking could become extremely difficult. Just ask Commander A.J. Drew Fustel, who had just spent six months at his former place of residence, the International Space Station. This is what I looked like walking heel toe, eyes closed after 197 days on the space station during the field test experiment, he tweeted. I hope the newly returned crew feels a lot better. He takes three somewhat steady steps before his stepping foot occasionally drips to the left as he moves forward. The astronaut ends the exercise after about 10 steps after drifting completely towards his right hand side. It's a good start, AJ. The video went viral and created a buzz on social media with many wishing the astronaut a speedy recovery. Gravity's a trip. <laughs> Mars Morse Code These Martian dots and dashes are officially known as Barkanoid Dunes. Recently, NASA spotted a series of mysterious dark dunes on the red planet that look uncannily like the dots and dashes that make up Morse code. Geophysicists believe they formed when something interrupts the production of the linear dunes. But NASA still isn't quite sure why, and figuring it out is part of the reason why they're photographing the region. Developed in the 1830s and 1840s, Samuel Morse developed a code that assigned a set of dots and dashes to each letter of the English alphabet and allowed for the simple transmission of complex messages across telegraph lines. So it poses the question, is it possible that there's a message for us on the surface of Mars? Just like the dunes here on Earth, the dots and dashes of the dunes were carved out by the direction of the winds. Over time, the wind coming from either direction funnels the material into long, dark lines or dots. This isn't the first time researchers have spotted this pattern in the sands of Mars. Is the red planet sending us a message? And can scientists translate the message if there is one? <laughs> UFO Live Stream is this the moment a UFO appeared to rise above Earth seconds after NASA's International Space Station live feed cut out? 
A British man says he believes he spotted a UFO rising above the Earth's surface during NASA's ISS live feed. He claims that the object appeared as the stream from the ISS was inexplicably cut for several seconds. John Craddock, a self-styled alien hunter, spends a lot of his time watching the live feed and says he's never seen anything like it before. Have you? The solid object soaring above our planets was spotted on the web stream. While it's not always possible to determine exactly what these objects are during the brief period they appear in the stream, there are a number of possible explanations for these types of sightings. This could well be a lens reflection that appears and then goes as the light changes, giving the impression of an extraterrestrial space coming into view and then cruising out of sight. Many UFOs caught by the ISS's cameras can be also explained as images of space junk or satellites in the distance, and even very small flecks of paint or particles can appear like UFOs when caught by the bright light from the sun. However, the amateur UFO hunter says he was certain it was a sign of alien life, claiming there's nothing human which can fly that high. <coughs> Staring at a black hole A black hole is a place in space where gravity pulls so much that even light cannot get out. The gravity is so strong because matter has been squeezed into a tiny space. This can happen when a star is dying. Because no light can get out, people can't see black holes. They're normally very invisible. However, recently scientists unveiled an image of an object containing the same mass as a six and a half billion suns resembling a circular void surrounded by a lopsided ring of light. It's the first image of a black hole. More than 50 million light years away in a giant galaxy called Messier 87, this massive beast is devouring anything that gets too close. Stars, planets, gas, dust, the works. Not even light escapes the monster's grasp once it crosses a threshold called the event horizon. By its very nature, a black hole cannot be seen, but as you can see, the hot material that encircles it shines bright. Against a bright backdrop, this black hole appears to cast a shadow. Catching its shadow involved eight ground-based radio telescopes around the globe operating together as if they were one telescope. This valuable image is the world's first glimpse of a black hole's silhouette. It's six and a half billion times the mass of the sun, and there are many questions about black holes that these coordinated observations may help answer. Shield in space. Accidents happen even in space. NASA astronauts on a spacewalk recently accidentally lost a fabric shield needed for the International Space Station. At the time, they were about midway through a planned six and a half hour spacewalk to prepare a docking port for upcoming commercial space taxis and to tackle other maintenance tasks. Astronauts were working on an area of the space station where a docking port had been disconnected and moved. They were in the process of using four large cloth panels to cover the access point where the docking port had been when one of the fabric shields suddenly drifted away and floated off into space. Cameras on the station tracked the debris shield bag as it sailed into the distance. Thankfully, NASA engineers determined it posed no safety threat to the astronauts or to the facility. A $100 billion research lab that flies about 250 miles above Earth. So this was a minor setback in what was otherwise a record-setting mission for the new crew members. The astronauts installed three other debris shields during their spacewalk and fitted a temporary cover over the docking port where the lost shield would have gone. All in a day's work up here in space. Cube on the Moon The Chinese nickname for this cube-shaped object on the moon translates to Mystery House. China has been exploring the far side of the moon since early 2019 as part of its lunar lander mission, and now it has eyes set on this strange-looking cube-shaped object. It's not yet known what we're dealing with here. The moon cube is located approximately 250 feet in front of the rover, and there are plans to drive over and get a closer look at the object. So far, the view of the cube is fuzzy and far off, so the object's true nature should become clear as the rover gets closer. The mission represents the first surface exploration of the far side of the moon. The rover's work has helped scientists learn about what's happening with the geology under the lunar surface, and it's already traveled over 2,500 feet across the moon's surface. Its next jaunt should shed some light on the mystery house, but alien enthusiasts immediately suggested that it might be some monolith stuck to the surface of the moon, left there by an alien civilization. However, experts believe that it could be just an unusual rock. 
In the Mission Landing area, one of the largest and oldest craters in the solar system, there are not many rocks, so it will be quite interesting to see how this mystery unfolds. The Mars Face when the Viking 1 mission returned photos of the surface of Mars in 1976, the image of this rocky face captured the public eye. When NASA released the photograph, they described it as a huge rock formation in the center of the photo which resembled a human head. Was it a trick of light and shadows? A remnant of an ancient civilization? Although NASA scientists quickly determined that the face was created by tricks of light and shadows, the imaginative public had other ideas. Many believe it did not form naturally. Some people believe that the face is the remnant of an alien civilization, suggesting that other rocky outcroppings in the area may be a crumbling extraterrestrial city. Nevertheless, in 2001, a cloudless summer day on this region of Mars, surveyors drew close enough for a second look. What the picture actually shows is the Martian equivalent of similar landforms common around the American West. Or so they say, believers were skeptical. Since 1976, the face has appeared in a number of popular culture references, citing it as an indication of life on Mars at some stage of the planet's history. But scientists think that this region is all that's left of an ancient Martian ocean. If so, this face on Mars might have once been beachfront property. Whether it's so-called alien influence or tried-and-true space science at work, without NASA's bold exploration of these space mysteries, we wouldn't be able to feed our insatiable curiosity about our solar system. These videos prove that we have still yet as many questions as we do answers.